Welcome back, it is good to see you. I hope all is well. Today we're gonna to do another DIY type of video and those always get me really excited. Today I'm gonna to share with you something that I recently discovered that allows me to both look at the camera and the person I'm meeting with at the same exact time. Now I know I've shared in several other videos that I use an external camera for my virtual sessions or virtual meetings, which really improves the quality and it also simulates a more realistic experience. However, the limitation to this is that it's really hard to make eye contact with the person, which would be to look directly at the camera and to look at them on the screen at the same time. And that's because the camera is located here and the person is being displayed here on the computer. Now, this is not the end of the world. You can certainly work around this and you do get used to it over time. However, today I finally discovered a great way to look at both the camera and the person on the other side at the same exact time. And that's what I wanna share with you today. But before we do, if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe down below and hit the thumbs up button on this video. It really is helpful, but only if you want to, there is no pressure. All right, so the hack we talk about today is gonna to require an extra accessory. Everything I talk about will be linked down below in the description, so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. And also, at the end of the video, I'll share with you a few alternatives that are free that can also help you improve your eye contact during virtual sessions. But let me go ahead and just show you what the accessory is that we're gonna be working with today. All right, so for this hack, you're going to need this right here. And this is actually a camera monitor. So this right here, this is a little screen that helps me see what I'm doing when I'm filming. However, I recently discovered that you can actually use this as a computer monitor. And so actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna hook this up to the computer and we are gonna use this as a miniature second screen. And let me show you how I use Zoom and do my virtual sessions using this as the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch cameras right now so you can go ahead and see this from my point of view. So first things first, this monitor hooks up with a standard HDMI cable, which I have right here. And I also have a MacBook Pro, which has USB-C ports. And so I have this adapter right here, which allows me to hook up HDMI into my MacBook computer. And the reason why this monitor works so well for making eye contact is because it's meant to be mounted on top of a camera. It comes with this mount right here, which allows you to place it securely right on top of the camera. It is perfect placement for making eye contact and looking at the camera at the same exact time. So once the monitor is hooked up to the computer, it's actually quite simple. You're gonna go ahead and log into Zoom as you always would. And for today's demonstration, Panic Pete was kind enough to volunteer. So once you're in Zoom, you're simply gonna take the screen and drag it over to the second monitor, the one on top of the camera, and make it full screen. And there you have it. Now, whenever you're looking at Panic Pete, you're also looking at the camera you're making pretty good eye contact. Even more is you can continue to take notes as you always would, even while you have your session. So just quickly, what are some other options if you don't wanna buy a second monitor? Well, one, you can use your phone as the camera. And when you log into Zoom on your phone, you can use the front facing camera, which will allow you to see the other person while looking at the camera at the same time. The only drawback to this is that you'll have to log into Zoom on your phone, and so you're forced to use the phone's camera. But this will allow you to make eye contact really well. Another option is to get your computer as close to the camera as possible at about the same exact height. This will allow you to make pretty good eye contact while still seeing the person. However, the only drawback is that you may not be able to take notes depending on how far away you are from the camera. All right, so that is it for today's video. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Hopefully you learned something. And as always, if you have other DIY hacks that have really helped you in your virtual sessions or virtual world or virtual office or whatever, I'd love to know. Go ahead and put those down below in the description. But until then, I look forward to seeing you soon. <laughs>